Greetings from the World Health Organization in Geneva. I thank the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, Action for Global Health, and the Rockefeller Foundation for co-hosting this event. The Ebola epidemic that is ravaging parts of West Africa has focused world attention on the need to have robust public health infrastructures and resilient health systems in place everywhere. This means a number of things. Having the capacity to detect and respond to unusual events early on. This requires good background data on the usual so that the unusual stands out. Making good quality care accessible and affordable to everyone and not just to wealthy people living in urban areas. Having enough facilities available in the right places with enough well-trained staff, uninterrupted supplies of essential medicines and technologies that match priority health needs. Diagnostic capacity that returns rapid and reliable results and information systems that pinpoint gaps and direct strategies and resources towards unmet needs. Together, this means universal health coverage. All of these fundamental capacities were missing when the Ebola virus began to spread in Guinea nearly a year ago. The cause of the outbreak was misdiagnosed twice as cholera and later suspected to be Lassa fever. Ebola was not identified as the cause until late March, three months after the index case occurred. What began as a health crisis evolved to take on humanitarian, social, economic and security dimensions. Preparedness, focus on comprehensive strengthening of capacities and not on building parallel systems for a single disease is by far the better option. The best exit strategy for development assistance is national self-reliance. Countries want capacity, not charity. Better health is a nation-building strategy. Amongst its many advantages, universal health coverage is a powerful social equalizer. This is another asset for any government that sees health as a route to greater social stability and security. I know your panel of eminent speakers will have much more to say on these and other issues, and I wish you a most productive event. Thank you.